Welcome everybody to the Practical Nursing Certificate Pinning Program. And we will now let our graduates enter if you'd like to stand and applaud. If I could have it back. Welcome again, everybody, to the Practical Nursing Certificate Pinning Program. And it is now my privilege to present to you Mary Ellen Fidenkevich, who is the Chief Learning Officer for Greenfield Community College. Thank you, everyone. It is my privilege to be here to welcome all of you today. And first, though, I have to go through a list of welcomes. But first and foremost, I want to welcome and congratulate our class that's about to graduate. So can I have a really ruckus round of applause? That's right, thank you, I really appreciate that. I'd, so I welcome the graduates first and foremost, but I also like to welcome the family and friends that have supported them in so many ways. So as, as a thank you to them, I'd ask the graduates about to graduate to please stand up, face your friends and family, and say thank you to them. <laughs> We know that they have helped you in so many ways, feeding you, do, uh, you know, just being there. I mean, I can't even imagine the different ways that that's happened. My next 
thank you and welcome is also to the faculty and staff here, in particular, the PN faculty members here, because we know how much they've supported you. Stand up, you guys. Please stand. Please stand. It's my last one. I get to do what I want. <laughs> Also, thank you to Assistant Dean Skiathetis and the other administrators that are here today that made this all happen to you. So welcome to them as well. <laughs> this is a great day. And again, I know that you've toiled hard to be here. And you've certainly chosen to join a very admirable profession, even more so now than before. You know, through COVID, we know how important our direct health care workers are. You've chosen to be a direct health care worker. Good for you. I admire you so much. There are so many challenges you've had, but so many challenges in front of you. Thank you for choosing that profession. We greatly, we, I'm saying, all of us here in this room, greatly thank you for choosing that profession. We know you will be successful whatever direction you choose to go. So again, thank you for doing that. It is not easy, we know that. I am sure throughout this past year, you're getting a little tired of all the acronyms you've had to deal with. You know, I think about a few, uh, you know, INOs, you know, maybe BPs, C, you know, CBCs, oh, I don't know, there's uh, GFRs, you know, all of those tests, at MRSA, VRE, all of those, see, I know a few of them, just a few, just a few, but all of those things, but you're going to learn even more when you go out and work in the field yourself. So, um, you know, I really appreciate that. I know that, again, that there have been many, many different trials, many different words that you've learned, terminology you've learned, techniques that you've learned that you will use over and over again as you do the, the, the passion of your nursing career. So, again, we want to appreciate that. I want to keep this short and sweet. I really, truly just mean to congratulate you graduates. Thank you for what you do. Again, we all really appreciate that. And really, think about GCC. There are times at GCC, uh, hopefully, fondly. Again, don't forget to thank those that have supported you throughout this time, and that will continue to support you as you grow in the field of nursing. So welcome, everyone, and thank you for what you're doing. Good afternoon. My name is Karen Skiathetis. I'm the Assistant Dean of Nursing. Um, and I just wanted to welcome you all again. This is really an exciting day for all of you. A nursing pinning ceremony is all about honoring and celebrating nursing students and their journey to become a nurse. Many of you have probably thought about this day with the anticipation as you went through your program. I would like to start today's festivities, or not start, but after the start, <laughs> today's festivities with a special acknowledgement for the class of 2022. The students you see before you have faced multiple challenges, both personal and financial, due to the ongoing impact of the global pandemic. Starting the program in the fall of 2021, these remarkable students had to put forth an extraordinary effort to complete the PNC program during the last 10 months. I would like to mention a few of the challenges they have faced. Theory classes were forced to be hybrid because our facility at Smith Vocational did not have a large enough classroom with the room capacities dictated by the Department of Public Health to hold them all. So some of them had to attend on Zoom and some of them attended in person. They were required to get PCR COVID tests every week because they didn't have enough on their plate or they couldn't go to clinical. Sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes they were not easy to find. 
Clinical days could be canceled on a moment's notice because there was a COVID outbreak. Constant surveillance of their own exposure, symptom, and testing was required of every student because they didn't have enough else to do. And most students were working and exposing themselves to COVID even when they weren't in their clinical rotation. And then finally, having to move from Smith Vocational School on a dime all of a sudden, from a Monday to a Tuesday, going from one site to another. Um, and also, I would like to thank the faculty for making that happen. <laughs> None of the issues that I've just talked about are without any consequence. Yet somehow, these students prevailed. And while the course of the program hasn't been without bumps and bruises, you've all been successful. Additionally, I would like to acknowledge the amazing work of our dedicated faculty and adjuncts. If you could please stand again. Oh, come on. It's good exercise. <laughs> and also, she won't let me ask her to stand up, but our administrative assistant, Melissa Davis, who has been essential. Also, I'd like to thank Dan, Dan Nietzsche, who is our Interim Director of Public Health, um, for making sure that we could stay on campus and we could attend clinical. And finally, I would be remiss if I didn't thank all of you out there for your patience and dedication to your family and all of the students for your patience and dedication to the art and science of nursing. I will now be presenting the awards for the practical nursing students who have excelled specifically in clinical and in academic work this semester. Do you have that? I do. Yeah, you, you go ahead and read it. And okay, read great. Thank you. All right, so the first award we're going to give is the Clinical Excellence Award. This award is presented to a student who embodied the role of the student nurse during clinicals. This student has consistently demonstrated punctuality, professional appearance, preparedness, performance with regards to standards of safety, as well as professional behavior as exhibited by their character, attitude, communication, and their demeanor. This year, our student receiving this award is Nasai Kien. Our next award is for Academic Excellence. The, this Academic Excellent Award goes to the student who has achieved the highest cumulative grade point average in their nursing courses. Nursing school is not easy at all. But this person was got to the finish line and did it with panache. So this year, we would like to acknowledge Olivia Kearney. <laughs> Huggy sort of group. <laughs> Thank Congratulations. <laughs> it is now an honor to present 
the student speaker for the Practical Nursing graduating class of 2022, Kirasha Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, families and friends. My name is Kirasha Smith, one of the graduates. I am humbled and honored to represent the, the best, the best nursing cohort a student could ever be a part of. <clears throat> First, I would like to give thanks to God Almighty for giving us the strength and the knowledge to make it through this program, because without him, none of this would have been possible. I would like to thank all of the instructors for instilling knowledge and teaching us to be safe and competent nurses. Shout out to Jenny for teaching us on Zoom while she was in Florida when she could have been by the pool getting a tan. <laughs> and Becca, thank you for being an active labor on Zoom and instructing her like nothing was going on. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and a special thank you to Krista for stepping up and doing so much for us. Thank you for stepping up. And you stepped up for us when Becca was on maternity leave. And I know it wasn't easy for you, but you made things happen and your time and dedication towards our Education was very appreciated. We, no, no. And I, bet, and I bet you can't wait to stick a pen in it and us. <laughs> also, we thank all of our clinical instructors for the time and dedication for helping us with our clinical skills and the patience with watching us perform med pads like turtles. <laughs> now say it with me, class. Right patient, <laughs> right drug, right dose, <laughs> right route, right time. Five times, check it three times. <laughs> These past 10 months have flown by so fast. It seems like we was, it was just yesterday that we all was all strangers in Stinchfield for orientation. I can remember walking in, even though the room was full of people. I looked around, I seen no faces. Nothing but a room full of strangers. And baby, let me tell you, we did not know what we was getting ourselves into. <laughs> the nerves and anxiety was just the beginning of the roller coaster ride that we were set up on. Eventually, faces and names came into view and we started practicing our vital signs and assessments on each other. Can you imagine complete strangers trying to find your apical pulse, which is, <laughs> which is located in the fifth intercostal space, right up under your left boob. <laughs> imagine being nervous already and then having to ask your new classmate to lift their left boob so you can hear and count their apical pulse. <laughs> so you can hear their count. How uncomfortable, right? Especially for Justin. <laughs> With being the only man in a room full of women, I promise y'all, our vital signs was not in, in, within normal limits that day. <laughs> and to be honest, we had no clue what we were doing. But now we all realize that as nurses, we are going to be put in uncomfortable situations. For instance, <laughs> The clinical group that I have been a part of know about uncomfortable situations all too well. <laughs> Rachel C., sorry for you wearing your patient's poop. <laughs> Olivia and Heidi for not going into respiratory nursing because the sight, of, the sight and the word of sputum make you gag. <laughs> and Val, thank you for keeping me grounded and telling me to get it together when I'm unsure of myself <laughs> and being too dramatic. <laughs> 
I'm sure we all have stories from class and clinical experiences, but we all handled it like nurses and got through it. In any situations that we may have faced with a smile and a willingness to learn. And we learn not to have gag reflexes, <laughs> especially to poop. <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> if there's one thing we do know, it is how to write a care plan. I bet we all can relate to the nursing diagnosis of anxiety related to test taking. <laughs> Waiting until three o'clock to see our test grades <laughs> to be posted. <laughs> low med no, low med motivation <laughs> related to sleep deprivation with given attitudes for having to keep our cameras on when we wanted to take a nap anyways. <laughs> Impaired nutritional intake related to eating junk food by evidence of gaining 20 pounds in nursing school. <laughs> but with all seriousness, seriousness, I bet we all cannot wait to start this new chapter in life. Let us embrace this moment that we have made and the knowledge that we have gained and the confidence that we have inherited facing nursing school in this pandemic. It wasn't easy, but we all got through it together. At this time, at this time, I would like to talk directly to my classmates. And I hope I don't start crying. But <laughs> every person has had a different journey in this program. We have all faced adversities from losing family members to most of us catching COVID during January intern. <laughs> From test taking anxiety and the struggle and just struggles with personal issues. Through this, throughout it all, we have supported each other and pulled each other to the finish line. We have comforted each other and pulled each other to this finish line. We have comforted each other through the good times and the bad times. We have been the most unpredictable class. <laughs> But we all have created some lifelong friendships that I am blessed to have. And to be a little personal, of course you all know that I'm from Mississippi and I don't have any families and friends here in Massachusetts. Starting school back, back in September, I had no clue that I was gonna meet this wonderful group of people that I now hold dear to my heart. And now that I call family, I will forever be grateful to you all and the friendships that we have made throughout this journey. For the past 10 months, we have introduced ourselves as nursing students, but today we retired that title as nursing students and pick up the title that we have worked super hard for, nursing graduates, soon to be LPNs. Here's to a sweet ending and a new beginning. And rest in peace, Lisa Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kirasha. I probably won't cry as much as she does. Nobody does. <laughs> so at this point, it is traditional for the dean or director or assistant dean of nursing to give the nursing students a charge to go out into the world with. So if you could all please stand. <laughs> the inscription on the nursing pin you're about to receive says the right to think and the will to learn. When you receive that pin, you will be accepting the following charge. As the assistant dean of nursing and on behalf of GCC and the practical nursing faculty, I charge you to move forward into the profession of nursing with integrity, accountability, kindness, 
and to continue to develop your thinking and learning to ensure better health outcomes for all these people out there moving forward. As you advance in your career, it is of great importance to your community, your state, and your country, and actually the health of the entire world, that you not only utilize the knowledge, skills, and attitudes you have gained in this program, but also grow in these dimensions to create equity, access, inclusion, and justice in healthcare for all people. Graduating class of 2022, do you accept that charge? Yes. You may sit. Yes, my fault. And now the class of 2022 would like to present a slideshow to you all.
Well done. At this point in the program, we're going to be presenting the pins and certificates. I just wanted to explain to our graduates that the certificates will come to you via mail, but you will receive a nice little folio for it today. So you can make believe that it's here. It doesn't mean you didn't graduate. Right. You're, you're there, but it'll come in the mail. Um, presenting the pins today, I would like to invite Krista Klein, professor of nursing, Rebecca Wolf, instructor of nursing, Rachel Porter, instructor, and Mary Lisa Murphy to present you with your pins. And Mary Ellen Fidenkevich will present you with your folios for your diplomas that will come. Yes. I will be announcing the names of students who are not here for, because this is also being televised worldwide. Each student has asked that when we call their name that we give you thank yous to go along with it. So I will be reading those as well. Would the faculty like to stand? Oh. <laughs> well, you can start reading it. We're unorganized. Okay. Rachel Blow. <laughs> Rachel would like to thank her whole family for supporting her through these tough 10 months, and especially our instructors who made us the nurses we are now. Heidi Boliski. <laughs> Heidi would like to thank her family, especially her mom and her sister who encouraged her through this whole process. My grandparents who were so sure I would make it and they were right. <laughs> I wish they were here to see it. My boyfriend, who dealt with my crazy schedule and always knew the right things to say to make me smile. My best friend, Elaine, who was always there to talk me through problems, nursing school related or not. Sandy, Becca, Mary Lisa, Rachel, and Crystal, thank you for being fantastic teachers and pushing me to think extra. Last, but certainly not least, <laughs> the fantastic girls and guy. <laughs> that I have met during my time in this program. There has not been a day that has gone by when we have not laughed together and they have not been here to help me through the program. And because of them, I am stronger. Thank you. <laughs> Amber Bernash. <laughs> Amber would like to thank all of those who have supported her throughout this long, vigorous journey. Her mother especially, who's not only encouraged her, but supported her to pursue her dream of becoming a nurse. She couldn't have made it through without a couple of laughs to brighten her days and long talks with Rob. Thank you, Uncle Jimmy, for supporting me even from New York. You were able to make an impact on my nursing school experience. Jay, I appreciate all you have done for me and for making all of this possible. Last but not least, the instructors and fellow classmates who've taken this path with me. We have supported each other along the way and I wouldn't have made it without each and every one of you. <laughs> Carmia Burrell is not present. <laughs> Kishla Cabrera. Kishla would like to say, today is the day that ends and begins a new and important chapter in our lives. Finally, we are baby nurses. Actually, you're toddler nurses. <laughs> First of all, I would like to thank God for having us here today. I want to thank my children, my husband. I love you guys without any description. I want to thank each of our instructors for guiding us through this crazy adventure called nursing school. 
finally to this beautiful group, which is a, it is an honor to be part of. Thank you so much for the union and encouragement to continue and always together. I'm so grateful to all of you and thank you for welcoming me as one of you despite my craziness. <laughs> I love you and each one of you and each one of you and the memories we build will always be present. Good luck out there. <laughs> Kayla Camacho. Kayla says, thank you to all the clinical instructors. Your time, attention, and support is much appreciated. Without all of your, you, our hands-on experience would be non-existent. So thank you to those who came out of retirement and those who showed up for us and help us get where we are today. Most importantly, I want to thank my kids. Sly and Rush, you both sacrificed so much this year. Thank you for your unconditional support and love through this journey. I am forever grateful to you both, XOXO. <laughs> Rachel Cialik. Rachel would like to thank Quote, my friends that I have made, that I've met throughout this program for all the laughs, memories, and keeping my anxiety grounded. Krista, Becca, Ginny, and all my clinical instructors for being so supportive and amazing. Sarah for being such an amazing friend and tutor. My family who has been by my side throughout this crazy journey. And my fiance who encouraged me to never give up until I reached my goal and believed in me each step of the way. Valerie Collington. <laughs> Valerie says, thank you to my family and friends that have supported me through this incredible journey. Without all of you, this wouldn't have been possible. Thank you to the best husband and children that anyone could ask for. I love you all. Thank you, exclamation point. Melinda Conway. Okay. Um, <laughs> she says I can shorten this, but I'm not sure where to begin. <laughs> Thank you to our program instructors who patiently taught me how to study for an exam. Thank you to my fellow classmates for putting up with my endless hours of complaint and obnoxious need to understand every detail. Thank you to my classmate, Monica, who kept me accountable for studying and taught me how to power read through the PowerPoints. Thank you to my family for being just a phone call away to reground me when I needed it. Thank you to my sister, Cynthia, who would look to me for advice on her own nursing homework, which in return just confused both of us even more. <laughs> Thank you to my sister-in-law and mom for texting me about their own health issues, allowing me to learn from their experiences. Thank you to my sister-in-law, Danielle, for thinking nursing school means I became her new doctor. <laughs> and most of all, thank you to the two who didn't throw me out of the house after every single exam upon anxiously awaiting grades. Every single exam. <laughs> Corey and Emily, you two are the greatest hubby and daughter anyone could ask for. The last 10 months you saw me at my worst and still encouraged me to keep persevering. Are we good? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Ashley Forrest. Ashley says, Jordan and Christy, thanks Jordan and Christy for the reassurance that she wouldn't fail every test. Her dad for the additional education and support. Her mom for reminding her that care plans are only temporary. 
and praline for understanding that her mom can't go on a two-hour walk every day. <laughs> Brenna Grant Dingman. <laughs> Brenna has chose to paraphrase Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I, want to, I want to thank me. I want to thank me for believing in me, for doing all this hard work, and for never quitting. And thank you to my family who sacrificed lots of time, weekends, without mom, and hot, wheels, hot meals. <laughs> Olivia Kearney. <laughs> Olivia says, this was such a challenging and rewarding 10 months packed with knowledge and unforgettable experiences. I can't wait to see what the future holds for me as a nurse. I couldn't have done it without the support of my family, friends, peers, and program instructors. A huge thank you to Krista, Becca, Rachel, and Mary Lisa for their devotion to educating and preparing me as a new nurse. I would also like to... <laughs> Sincerely thank mom and dad, Jerry, Tasha, Vicki, Naomi, Erica, and Andrew, Lee and Elaine, and my Nana and Papa. I would not be the woman I am today, or would I be where I am today without all of you. In loving memory of my grandfather and my idol, I hope to continue making you proud. <laughs> Haley Kelly Charette. Haley says, I would like to thank all of my friends and family that have supported me along this journey. But most importantly, thank you to my sweet angel niece, Emery Sophia, for guiding me through this past year. Jason, my fiance, for supporting me through all the good and all the bad in the past 10 months. And my daughter, Dallas, for being my driving force every single day. Ashley Kiernan Dufresne. <laughs> Ashley would like to thank her mom and dad. I could not have made it this far without your love and support. You have taken a huge amount of my responsibilities this last year, and I cannot thank you enough for that. I would like to thank Jaden and Clayton for being so patient and understanding on how important it was for me to complete my studies. I love you both so much. I, yeah, sorry. I would like to thank my peers who have helped me persevere through the tough times and, and ha have traveled this emotional journey with me. Lastly, I would like to thank my instructors for helping me navigate this complicated program. <laughs> Nasai Kien. Nasai would like to say, I would first like to thank my mom and dad. Without your love and support, I couldn't have done it. Next, I'd like to thank my son, Dominic. Thank you, Dom, for being so patient with me throughout this program. I hope I've made you proud. I love you so much. To my boyfriend and my friends, thank you. Thank you for being my rock through this journey. Thank you for the love, support, and encouragement. Lastly, I'd like to thank my instructors. You all deserve a pat on your backs for all that you've done for us. Thank you. Bridget Kugler. Bridget would like to thank her husband, Eric, for all the sacrifices and support during not only the last 10 months, but also the last five years of taking classes. My children, Donovan, Morgan, Zach, and Maggie, for all your flexibility and sacrifices during these last 10 months. To my parents, for all your love and support. Finally, to my bestie, Kim, for believing in me when I didn't believe in myself. And and to all my classmates for the support and friendships that have been made. To all my instructors for your guidance and nurturing thought, nurturing throughout the last 10 months.
Abigail Land. <laughs> Abigail would like to thank her husband, Sean, friends, family, and dogs, Patty and Poppy, for supporting me through my nursing journey. Looking forward to many adventures ahead. <laughs> Justin Malone. Justin wants to thank all of the staff for guiding us towards our nursing careers and goals. Thank you to Rachel Porter for being so supportive in my time of sadness and difficulty. And a huge thank you to my wife, Dr. Megan Doyle Malone. We both graduated. We did it. You're everything to me. I love you with all my heart. <laughs> In addition to that, Justin says, rest in peace, Alfred Kelly, my father, Riggs, our dog, our dog's son, we lost to cancer. Tony Malone and numerous other family members we lost during this program. This journey was truly difficult for us while fighting this pandemic, but we persevered. This is what we do. This is the way. Molly O'Brien. <laughs> Molly says, I would like to thank my family and friends and of course my amazing boyfriend for their continued love and support. Without them, I would have never made it to this point. To my parents, thank you for always loving me and supporting me through all of the ups and downs. Thank you to Grandma O'Brien for looking down on me and guiding me through this journey. I promise to be the best nurse I can be. To all my instructors, thank you for all your hard work and continued support. And a special thanks to you, Mary Lisa, for being such an amazing clinical instructor and for making my last clinical rotation such a special experience. I am truly so excited to start this journey. To all my classmates, we did it. <laughs> Marangeli Rodriguez. <laughs> Marangeli says, I would like to thank God first for all my blessings, accomplishment, and the power to continue during setbacks. Thank you to my family for the support and never giving up on me. I want to thank my professors and clinical instructors for your patience and pushing me to do better. And finally, my classmates, who are a phenomenal group, and I'm happy to be sharing this day with all of you. I am proud of all of us. <laughs> Monica Rosa. Monica would like to say thank you to all who have supported me throughout this rigorous journey, especially my grandparents. You pushed me to my limits and encouraged me to go above and beyond, and for that, none of this could have been possible without you. As my parents watch over me from above, I'd like to say I wouldn't have made it this far without the strength and drive you provide me. Lastly, to the girls who gave me words of encouragement, laughs, and a lot of love throughout these past 10 months. I couldn't have asked for better friends. <laughs> Olivia Rowe. <laughs> Olivia says she'd like to thank her friends and family for being so supportive throughout the whole program and always believing in her and knowing that she could do this. As she, she especially wants to thank her parents for always pushing her to do her best and being there every step of the way this year. Jake, thank you for continuously being my support system and a person to talk to about all the good and all the bad days, whether you were really listening or not. <laughs> I would like to thank all the wonderful instructors I have learned from. Lastly, I want to thank my girls that I wouldn't trade for the world. I would not have gotten through this program without their con our constant laughs, reassurances, and support. I couldn't have done this without you ladies by my side, and I am forever grateful for that.
Lalia Shally Jensen could not be here today, but she wanted to thank her friends, family, husband, and children for all the love, support, and motivation through this whole experience. She says, I love you all. Thank you. Kirasha Smith. Kirasha first would like to thank God for giving her the strength and perseverance to be here today. She would also like to thank her instructors and clinical instructors for all you all's support <laughs> and knowledge. She says, I am grateful for my lifelong friends that I have gained in this program. They are like family to me now. Thank you, Alan and Elizabeth, for your support. Lastly, I would thank, like to thank my family and friends in Mississippi for all of your support, and thank you for believing in me. She is a quote, Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you, but give you a good life. <laughs> Valerie Spiegel. Valerie would like to thank her grandfather for believing in her. Robin Stacy. Robin says, I would like to thank my husband, son, and family for all their support they gave to me throughout this nursing year. It was a big decision at this time to do in my life, but I'm so glad I did it. I would also like to thank Krista, Becca, and Ginny for all their hard work throughout, throughout this program, and I would really appreciate the great job you all did. Most of all, I would like to thank my classmates for working so well together so that we could all get through this. We are friends and family for life. Love to you all, and I will continue to bake cookies and brownies for all of you. <laughs> she makes very good brownies. <laughs> Michelle Wetterwall. <laughs> Michelle would like to thank you, say thank you to my friends, family, instructors, and the friends she has made in this program. Thank you for all for the laughs on the good days and the undying encouragement on the bad. I am so proud of us for getting through this program despite all the obstacles thrown at us. And last but not least, Ali Zadwarni. Ali would like to say, to my whole family, thank you for your endless support, pushing me to work my hardest and always being there to help me. I especially thank my mom and dad for helping me get through, this, through school and being by my side. Thank you to Matt as well for dealing with me constantly being stressed and hard to deal with, but still loving me. I couldn't have done it without you guys. So why don't we have the graduating class of 2022 rise again, and let's give them a round of applause. I say to you all, please don't stop here. You have shown that you have the ability to advance in your nursing career. And as you do so, remember that GCC graduates can receive scholarships supporting them to continue on to their associate's degree and after that, a bachelor's degree in nursing. I'm going to editorialize a moment. 
I saw nursing school a little bit the same way as I saw labor. Once, when you're in the middle of it, you say to yourself, what the heck was I thinking? But <laughs> once you get out the other side, you go, oh, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> so please go on. You can all achieve whatever you set your mind to. Thank you, everyone, for being here today. And now, let the graduates be applauded as they exit. Thank you.